Hey guys, Adrian here, Kid Guru, and today I want to give you guys a little tour of my iPad. This is my iPad running 4.2. This is a jailbroken iPad. Uh, you can't really tell because I just I don't have any really any uh, jailbreak features as of yet. Um, just because I upload, uh, I upgraded to the 4.2. Cydia works, but a lot of my stuff that I use like sh uh, shrink. Iconoclasm, that type of stuff, all the themes and stuff, they're not really supported with 4.2. Thus, I'm going to kind of wait until some new 4.2 themes roll out along with support for those applications that I bought from the city store. Um, along with 4.2, obviously, you get the multitasking features, you know, so you can multitask, obviously, and you get the you know little uh, media control bar here with the brightness and the volume and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, as you can see here, these are all my apps, and I don't have a lot, you know, uh, I mean, I, actually, I do have a lot of apps, but, you know, not too much, just the apps are really, uh, some of them that I purchased, I really use a lot, and I really haven't really organized my iPad that much, because I've only, I've not had it too long, I think only maybe borderline a month, or almost about a month now. Um, and as you can see here, my first page has basically the stock apps, calendar, contacts, notes, maps, videos, YouTube, Cydia iTunes, App Store, the Game Center, which is the newest addition to 4.2. VLC, VLC has uh, basically uh, changed the way I watch videos on my iDevices just because VLC allows you to watch, it's, it's a really, really great media app if you haven't used it on the desktop. VLC allows you to watch uh, multiple types of video, what do you call it, video uh, formats on your iPad or iPod Touch or iPhone. Because it supports files like DivX, for example. So I have like 500 Days of Summer here. Uh, I have Shutter Island. I don't have too many movies. They're just some of the movies that I had. I uh, just wanted to try them and I imported them. Because uh, in particular, I did 500 Days of Summer because that's a DivX file. And it supported that. Played that fine. Shutter Island, uh, that's just a regular AVI file. And some of these files, you can't, you, know, you can't normally drag them into iTunes. VLC handles that for you. Uh, and it does pretty good. You know, a little bugs here and there. But it is a really decent app. And it gives you, you know, really, really great playback options. Obviously Skype here. This is the Skype for the iPhone. So if I log in, you can see there you have to kind of 2x it if you want to actually use it. So I'm going to go out there. It's uh, an iPhone simulation mode. Twitter. This is the default Twitter app. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is what I used for my Twitter application. And it shows my timeline there. And yeah, you can see that. It's all pretty basic. Uh, okay. Uh, friendly. Friendly is the Facebook app I use for. I'm going to move my iPad a little bit closer here so you guys can see it. Friendly is the Facebook app I use for my, uh, obviously for Facebook. <laughs> it's my social networking app. Um, I'm not going to go into it because it's going to log me in and stuff. But uh, Facebook doesn't have an app for the iPad out yet. So I use Friendly, which is the most, obviously, friendly, user-friendly interface for the iPad as of now for Facebook. Net Newswire, uh, I use this on my Mac as well. This is basically an RSS reader. Uh, all my feeds go through here for technology and stuff like that, like Engadget, Lifehacker, all those feeds and stuff. I can go back here and... Look at all my feeds. You can see there, sort them by tech news. You can sync this with your Google uh, Reader, and that loads up all your feeds. Really, really great way to read your RSS content. Another great way I enjoy my content is through Flipboard. Flipboard is a uh, really, really nice graphical user interface type of RSS reader where basically it kind of styles it as a digital content or digital media newspaper where you can kind of flip through your content. You can pick which content you want to read. So tech influencers, I can have my Twitter things here, and it, it stores out all my stories, my tweets, uh, tweets about you know certain topics and quotes and stuff like that, and big headlines like a newspaper, and it lists it all out. Really, really great app to view your content, and you can just click here if you want to read a story. It opens it up, and I can check for a commentary. I can read it on the web, and opens up an inbuilt web browser, opens a page, so I can read the full story. Really awesome way to browse your tech news or whatever type of news, because this is just a great news reading app in general. So again, you can just flip through like it would be a newspaper and really, really awesome interface. All right, uh, going back here, Evernote for notes. Uh, to-do is one of my to-do list applications I use. A really, really powerful one. So I just kind of source out all my stuff through here and you can sync it between multiple devices. Go ahead and go back out there. Muji Calendar is basically uh, better. I like it better than the default calendar. Uh, Life Hacker is a blog I read that's just a shortcut to it. Nightstand is just a nightstand just shows a digital clock. And my education stack, or I should say folders, I don't have much. I just have iBrainstorm and Dragon Dictation. Uh, I have Photoshop Express, which is basically a really, really, really simple photo, or, uh, yeah, photo editor. Focus Plus is a kind of like a sound thing. It just plays like uh, sounds, uh, you know, those, what do you call that? Kind of like sounds that you help you focus or, you know, soothe you when you're sleeping or something, like Hard Rain. 
is obviously rain is the sound up here and oh, the mute switch is on so it kind of just sounds like rain here and you can use this slider to increase the volume or decrease the volume I think it's just nice to have it on the desk or you know when I'm trying to sleep or something play some soothing sounds Jot Free is just a uh, drawing app Auditorium is a really, really great music app. Uh, I should have reviews for all these. Pro if I can get reviews up for these, I'll uh, put an annotation here. But basically, Auditorium shows you a list of all these artists, indie artists, and stuff like that. You can just—it's a great way to discover music. Paper Toss, self-explanatory. It's a paper toss game. That's a light version. Adobe Ideas is a great, great uh, f uh, photo editing app, and it just does a lot. And you can add on to it, buy upgrades for the app, and stuff like that. Games here, I got Splinter Cell, one was on sale for 99 cents during this uh, Black Friday weekend. Field Runners, my personal, one of my personal favorite uh, iOS games, kind of like a tower defense. Pinball HD, I bought that just because I heard it's really great on the iPad. Um, flashcards, that, just, that should be in the education stack, just obviously digital flashcards. Good Reader allows you to read through many different file types like PDFs and stuff like that. Uh, it just allow, it allows you to read different formats and file types and documents uh, within your on your iPad. And I actually haven't used that too much. I just got it, so I need to sync some files over and connect it to a server, etc. I also purchased Apple's Keynote, which obviously allows you to make keynotes for uh, your iPad and allows you to make these little presentations like the regular Keynote. And I'm not going to update right now, so I'm say not now. You see that I was working on an, a actual Keynote earlier, so it's kind of sideways, but you can see that. And it's fully functional as transitions, etc. Air Display allows you to connect this to a uh, desktop and use it as a monitor. Really, really cool application. I don't want to set it up right now because it'll take a little bit to set up, uh, but I'll probably get a review of that. Atomic Web is just a different web browser. It's the Atomic Web Browser. It just adds tabs and stuff like that, stuff that Safari doesn't have. Uh, HSW is the iPhone app for HowStuffWorks.com. Uzu is just a great little visualizer. I'm sure you guys have seen it, and basically you can just you know mess around here and add visual effects and stuff like that. Alright, uh, again, that's Uzu. To-Do is my other to-do app that I was using before, but then until I got into the other to-do app, which I showed you on the first page. Dreams, this is just a dream journal uh, that I use for, uh, basically when you wake up, you can kind of log your dreams. It's a little cool thing, experiment if you want to try that out. Uh, on my last page here, I have Mobile Mouse, which allows you to use your iPad as a mouse, uh, or, you know, a lap, or, or wireless keyboard and wireless trackpad type thing as well. Revision 3, that's just Revision 3's official app that I use for reviewing their content. TED is a great, great conference where basically, you know, uh, really smart people on different subjects come together and talk about specific topics in the world. And this has a kind of a compile, or, compil or not really, kind of like mashes up all the people who've talked there and gives you a way to view the content easily. Twit, that's an official Twit app to view their podcasts, etc. I Wallpapers HD, or Wallpapers HD is just wallpapers for your iPad. WordPress is the default WordPress blogging app. Sleep, or iHome Sleep, is basically an alarm clock. Magic Fiddle is a game by Smeal. just allows you to play some music. Penultimate is a drawing uh, notebook. Scrabble, again, Scrabble, the board game. Uh, and Touch LCD is just a cool little clock. I guess I can show you that. It's a designer speaking clock here. That, uh, if it decides to load, if I click it... Time is 5 minutes to 12 in the evening. <laughs> There's a cool little clock app I like to have running there. Sometimes I just have my iPad sitting there. And, of course, last but not least on the bottom here, you have Safari, Mail, Photos, iPod, and Pulse, which is one of my main news uh, reading things as well. It has a nice interface. Uh, and just basically I use it to go through some feeds here. I've been trying out a lot of different RSS feeds. And this basically just you can go through different columns, and it supports multi-touch as well. So really, really cool news reading app for the iPad. And as well as the iPhone. All right, guys, that's on my that's all that's on my iPad. I should say this is the iPad 4.2. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at my iPad. Love to see what you guys what apps you have installed, etc. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll make an update video as I get more apps within the months, etc. And you know more videos come. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.